I often get asked by novice or beginner athletes who are new to triathlon where they can best spend their money to start with. It's quite an expensive sport, uh, well, three sports. And so one of the things people often do is wear an old wetsuit, a borrowed wetsuit, maybe something that they've bought online um, and perhaps not realizing the difference between thicker water sports type wetsuits and purpose-made triathlon swim specific wetsuits. So today we're gonna test out uh, the difference in time that you might get from um, wearing an old wetsuit or wearing one that doesn't fit and is thick and heavy <laughs> and wearing an, a well-fitting swim specific wetsuit. And we're also gonna do it with just um, a swimsuit and compare that as well to the time with the old wetsuit. Let's do it. So we're here at Kalamasal in Mallorca. It's one of our favorite swim spots. And they've got a very nice set of boys all laid out for us. So what we're gonna do is do the test from here to the red boy and back to the beach. And I will time the three different, uh, well, the two different wetsuits and with the swimsuit. So this is the wetsuit that we've borrowed for the purposes of this film today. It's um, very old. It's quite ripped as well. Um, but the purpose really is to show you the difference in material. So wetsuits that are made for water sports and that are older wetsuits, the material can hold more water. It's got um, a thicker film of neoprene which actually holds the water in it. And for water sports, that's good because it keeps you warm. But for swimming, obviously, it becomes heavy. And specifically in the arms, if you get um, a lot of water in the suit, both within the suit, between your skin and the suit, but also being held by the neoprene, then it's very heavy and it becomes very difficult to swim. With the modern wetsuits, what they've done is only use the thicker material in the areas where you need buoyancy in the suit to actually keep you in the right position in the water. And Orca, for example, have different suits for different types of buoyancy, depending on what sort of swimmer you are. So the front of the legs here has got a thicker material. It's still a lot thinner than the old wetsuit. The back of the legs is slightly thinner and the arms themselves are, are extremely thin material, which makes it delicate to put on. And what's one of the things I'll, I'll show you when I'm putting the suit on, um, but it means that the arms are super flexible and are really comfortable to swim in. So I will always wear gloves when I'm putting on my, my wetsuit because the material is so flexible now that it can be quite easy to put a nail through it. So take your time, make sure that the wetsuit is pulled up fully before you start putting the top half on. That's really important. If you don't put the wetsuit on properly, then it's gonna get water in it, it's gonna feel like it doesn't fit. So it's important to get it, the legs pulled all the way up before you start putting the top half on. With um, a well-fitting wetsuit, if you're not used to it, if it's the first time that you've had a triathlon wetsuit, you may feel like it's too small when you're putting it on. That's how they feel. <laughs> They're meant to be tight. They're meant to keep the water out. So when you try a wetsuit on, it has to be difficult to get it on. So I swam that in two minutes and 28 seconds. And that's in the apex float. Let's uh, find out now what, what the big white suit feels like. Wow. 
Well, the most noticeable thing about swimming with this wetsuit on is not just how slow it is, it's the, it's how tired I am. Physically swimming in it was so difficult that I can't imagine even swimming 1,500 meters, for example, for an Olympic distance race uh, with this suit on. I think it was just the action of, of, of being so full of water and actually trying to swim. Yeah, it was really exhausting. So the time was 2.40, so it's 12 seconds slower over, over just under three minutes. When I had this wet, old wetsuit on, I could feel how heavy it was. And I'm just comparing now the weight when they're wet of the orca in the old wetsuit. And it is noticeably heavier. It holds a lot more water in it and you can really feel that when you're swimming. So just as a baseline now, we're gonna test the same route with just a swimsuit on. There's two things I'm gonna take away from this. The first one is the, obviously the time. So it was 12 seconds slower over the short distance of just about three minutes. If you're someone who takes about 30 minutes to do an Olympic distance uh, swim, that's gonna be nearly two minutes over that distance. But the the, re the thing that really hit me when I was swimming in the old wetsuit was just how exhausting it was. And if you expend so much energy in the swim, when you get out to get on your bike and then to do the run, and you've already, you're already exhausted from the swim, that's gonna really impact the rest of your race as well. So it's not just important to get a swim specific wetsuit with flexible shoulders that is built for swimming. But it's also important to get one that fits well because it's the water going into the suit that becomes heavy that also slows you down.